So let's assume that we have a square 3 by 3 matrix A and its corresponding three eigenvectors u1, u2, and u3 with the corresponding eigenvalues lambda1, lambda2, and lambda3. Now we have that A multiplied by u1 is equal to lambda1 multiplied by u1, A multiplied by u2 is equal to lambda2 multiplied by u2, and A multiplied by u3 is equal to lambda3 multiplied by u3. Now we can put these n equations into a matrix form. So we have the matrix A on the left of the equation, put u1, u2, and u3, which again are the normalized eigenvectors into their own matrix. And just to be more explicit, here the first column is u1, the second column is u2, and the third column is u3. We can do the same thing on the right side of the equation. We put the eigenvectors in their own n by n matrix and multiply it with a diagonal matrix, lambda1, lambda2, and lambda3. And if we were to perform these matrix multiplications in these equations, we would observe that we get the same equations as before. Great, so now we have A multiplied by U is equal to U multiplied by lambda. Finally, we just have to perform one more step to obtain the eigen decomposition of matrix A, which is multiplying by the inverse of U on the right. And here we have it, the eigen decomposition of matrix A. We have the eigenvector matrix U, multiplied by the diagonal matrix that contains the eigenvalues, multiplied by the inverse of U. 